All right, challenge 1.4, the rearrangeable art. Um, this is kind of the to-do list I came up with after fiddling with this. Uh, we're going to make these grabbable. This is my art. If you don't already have art, um, you can go into prefabs, art, and just drag some on the wall there. Um, but we have to also then take it out of the hat's layer mask. Otherwise, uh, I found that you could dock the or socket the picture to your head, um, which you don't want. Uh, and then we'll make some simple cube hooks. Um, make them a socket, and then with a at child attach point, we'll be able to orient things correctly. And then we'll tell it, hey, the thing that should be starting on that hook when the game starts is going to be these pictures. Um, otherwise, the pictures just kind of fall to the floor. So let's get started. Here is my two pictures. I'm just going to select both of them with a shift click. Type in grab to make them grabbable. Um, which adds the rigid body, which is great. Um, and I'm then going to child or create empty attach point. Make this create empty attach point. Um, oh, and then <laughs> uh, the interaction layer mask you'll notice is set to hats. We're just going to uncheck that. Same with this one. Okay, we'll mess with the attach points in a little bit, but I'm going to put the... Uh, actually, I'm just going to move these out of the way a little bit here and just kind of put the hooks right in there. Um, so inside this... Um, these really should be moved, actually, from the static to the dynamic, because now we're doing fun things with them. Let's put it at the top of the dynamic. Don't need the notebook stuff. Okay. Inside the dynamic, I'm going to create a 3D object cube and call this hook left. And if I hover here and hit the F key, I can focus, which it is for some reason there, kind of in the middle of the room, which I guess makes sense. And actually, I resized one earlier that fit really well. And once you find a scale, like let's say you just scale it, whatever, you can copy those values and then later on paste them. Well, I already copied some from earlier, so I'm going to paste those values. And there is my first hook. It's hook left. It's kind of just sticking out of the wall, just a hair. And something like this. And then we're going to duplicate that to be hook right. Put that one over here. And then we have the hooks. Now we need to make them a socket and add an attach. Or, a, yeah, an attach point child. So with my socket here, I'm going to add socket interactor there. Um, same with the hook right. That needs to be a socket. Um, as far as the collider for that, because remember, when you go to drop something on it, you have to hit that teeny tiny little hook. Um, so this box collider, whoops, I'm just going to scale this up quite a bit so that you can actually hit it. I could make a child object, I guess, but this seems to work fine about right there. And again, I'm going to use a little cheat here to copy that, go to the hook right and then just paste the values. And now the boxes are exactly the same. Not that it really matters. Um, and then our child objects, which is going to be to orient it correctly, because if you snap it on there right now, it's going to be all kinds of wonky looking. Um, so we need a empty here. We'll call this attach point. And then the right needs an empty attach point. And my hook left will start with this uh, there. And then the hook right will start with this. Okay, I made some mistakes, but I went and fixed them. Here's what I did. Uh, the hook left, you need to make sure is using the custom attach point. So make sure you drop that in there. Same with the hook right. Drag that attach point in there. Also... Your hook left and hook right should not accept hats. So you want to make sure you take it off of the 
hat interaction layer mask. Same for that one. I just uncheck that. And if we take a look at it right now, you'll see a glaring issue, but let's look at it. And the pictures are rotated correctly vertically. Oops. Um, and when I pick it up, it looks good. Um, so what I'm going to do is leave it in play mode, actually, because I can just adjust this here and then copy the values. So I know my, let's see, hook left attach point. Um, if I just start spinning this around, let's make this a zero. And if we were to flatten this out so it was perfectly out, you can see eh, it probably needs to be a 90, which it does. And this, if I straighten it up, needs to be a 30, which is compensating for the rotation of the uh, hook there. So it's actually 30, 90, 0 for that attach point. So if I leave play mode, it leaves everything, or all the values left, I mean. So that one needs to be that. This one also needs to be 30, 90, 0. And now let's test it out. Okay, the attach point probably needs lowered. Um, uh, you can rearrange them. Um, but just a couple of minor tweaks. I decided to do the tweaks in play mode and then just look at the values again. Um, the picture attach point of that left one there um, really should be, I don't know, something like this, 0.33. And I'm pretty sure the hook is still kind of, yeah, it is. Um, it's 0.33 and, oops, not that one. Let's just kind of cheat on that. So 0.33 and 0.09. Um, 0 0.33, 0 0.09, and not, oh, negative 0.09, whoops. There we go. I like it. Copy it. Leave play mode. Picture, attach point, paste values. Picture, attach point, paste values. Just quality of life improvements. All right, let's see what we got now. Hey, all right. Grab that one, put it there, grab that one, put it there. Eh, it's not perfect, but what in life is. All right, enjoy.